Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run over and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips Family. Now that you're part of the Lips Family, there's some things that we want for you to do. We do them every day because they help us grow. Would you join us, please? Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go on, take for the team. Comment, like, share, and go on, take for the team. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to comment, like, a share. Comment, like, a share. Comment, like, a share. Don't forget to comment, like, a share. Comment, like, a share. Comment, like, a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, a share. Okay, you guys go pray and get into this good goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Before I go any further, because I'm finna get that eating, I don't want to stop. I want to let you know. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here because you like him. And I like him, too. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Mm. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today, we just got some peppers, our jalapenos. We have got some... Triple cheeseburgers with no bread. And then right here, you guys, we have got a baked broccoli, cheesy, bacon, love. I don't know what it's to say because it is delicious. Okay, you guys, we've already prayed. I've got the pink side up here to the side. I've got the lips hot sauce, but I won't be needing it. I know I won't. And I've got some extra mayonnaise over here to the side. Y'all, I've been wanting these burgers. Y'all know I do, I love me some breadless burgers. Here you go. That's going to be the first bite. It's got pickles, onions, mayonnaise. Mmm. Mmm. They're going to decoration already, y'all. Mmm. Y'all just take it down. Mmm. Mmm. So how y'all doing today? Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna take the skillet down now. Mm. Mm. Y'all know I have it propped up. Y'all, this right here is nothing but goodness. I meant you say it. Mm. You say it. It's broccoli cheese. It's got real bacon in it. Baby! Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I got to tell y'all how to make this. Mm, mm, mm. You take you some broccoli and you put some butter in a pan and you saute it till it gets soft, right? With garlic. Put garlic in that way too. When the garlic, mmm. Mmm. You guys good. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah. When the garlic and the bacon is sauteed real good and it's soft, you can use minced garlic or fresh garlic. It doesn't matter. Make the garlic soft. Put you some bacon in the oven. You can use bacon bits, but I prefer real bacon. I do. So I put me some bacon in the oven. Honey, when that bacon get done, you take some heavy whipping cream and add to your garlic and your oh, broccoli, right? You add your heavy whipping cream and you season your broccoli how you want to. Mmm. Put it up in your skin and honey. I put mozzarella and cheddar on mine. 
and then put that bacon on the top. Put it in the oven for eight to ten minutes at three fifty. Baby, busting. Mm. Y'all is busting. Y'all, I'm getting so excited. Mm. About my birthday coming up. You know, I'm so excited. I really am. There are about maybe 10 channels that are coming to Atlanta to celebrate my birthday with me, y'all. <laughs> Legion. I put the invite out there. That I was, you know, I told people that I was going to be celebrating my birthday in Atlanta this year. Y'all ain't had no birthday party. I was celebrating my birthday, really celebrating my birthday in years. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I really am. I'm super excited. And it's a lineup, y'all. We have got a lineup coming. For real. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'll be down there in Atlanta. Mm. Yeah, this is good. I'll be down in Atlanta from December 27th to December 30th. Mm-hmm. Leading y'all normally go live. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> y'all there I go. There I go. And we have had several videos. I know at least two or three. Why well, I hadn't wasted anything. But I always back and true the lips, I say. But anyway, y'all don't know how many times we're going to go live while we're down there. But I am going to go live. I am. For definite sure. Uh, y'all, today in Big Ben, I got some nice cold water, H2O. I wanted some water today. I really did. And um, I'm getting ready. You know, as of January 1st, mm, mm, we're doing nothing but water. But, I think we're going to do it a little longer this time. Don't get me confused. And y'all may have to tell me what it is. But, there is a certain religion. I don't know which one it is, y'all. I don't. I don't even be trying to lie. But I do know that there's a certain religion. Y'all know the P. Mm. Baby, that there ain't number goodness. There ain't number goodness right there. Mmm. Just like starting January 1st, they do like a cleansing where they eat nothing but salad for 30 days. No, for 40 days. So I think we're going to do nothing but water for 40 days. That means we're going to go nothing but water. Mm. Mm. From January 1 to February 8. We'll start on the 9th. Mm-hmm. Y'all think that's a good idea? Y'all can participate with me. Mm-hmm. Don't let me stay around over here and get finer, honey, and get this old skin, baby. Drinking all that water and you miss out. Because I'm going to be here for your support. January the 1st through February the 8th. Mm-hmm. The Lips Channel is going to do nothing but water. Mm. Which means all day, every day, 
If you put some liquid in your mouth from January 1 to February 8, there's nothing but water. I think you'll find that there's a lot of health benefits. Like I tell you every time we do this, from drinking water, there's a lot of health benefits to that. It makes your skin pretty. Believe it or not, it helps regulate your bowels too. That's how, like you lose weight when you drink a lot of water. It's because when you drink a lot of water, it flushes out your bowels. It does. And you lose that weight that you've been retaining the inside of, you know. It just come out. Mmm. You got this broccoli is good. It's got a real garlicky taste to it. Because you put I put minced garlic in mine. I didn't do, I didn't use real garlic like I normally do. Mm-hmm. And then you put you some slack. I put slap your mama accent and regular table salt in mine. Whatever I did to mine. And threw it up in this skillet, honey, and got down. Oh, y'all a piece of that one? It's a triple. You got a three piece of meat. See it? Mmm. Mmm. I did them all right, honey. Definitely need no extra mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. So how y'all doing today? I just been ramming on and on about my birthday. Just because I'm excited, y'all. I am really excited. You only turned 30 one time. <laughs> you only turned 30 one time. Mm-hmm. That's it. You only turned 30 one time. Just that one time. So, how are you doing? How are you? You know, the kids are back in school for a little while before they get back out. So, right now while they're in school, if you work at night or you don't work, it's the perfect time for you to get all your Christmas shopping done and wrapped out of the way. But every year, me and my husband have a hard time getting everything wrapped. For a little lips, because we take too long to do it. We had the gifts here, just one wrap them. So last year, I said, this year, midway to December, when she takes her tail back to school, baby, we're going to get this stuff wrapped. And out the way, because she knows it. Let me tell y'all a story. About two years ago, we was here at the house on, on, her, on a little bit of Christmas break. And we was sitting here, and all the gifts was under the tree. This wasn't, I didn't think it was New Year's Eve yet. I think it was like December the 22nd, 23rd. So, I told Lily that everything up under the tree was from me and my hubby. She was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, she was like, well, when is Santa Claus going to bring me gifts? I said, Santa Claus bring you gifts on Christmas Eve. When you wake up Christmas morning, if you've been a good girl, Santa Claus will leave you gifts. If you don't, I cannot let Santa Claus down the chimney. He can't get no milk and cookies. No, if you ain't good. So, we waited. Hmm. So y'all, Christmas Eve came. It was Christmas night. Lily went to bed early. Like, I'm gonna say seven, eight o'clock at night. We was like, we got it. She knocked out. So we get up around 10, 11. Y'all know how Christmas time is when you got kids. Baby, it's just things that you got to do. So I would say about 10, 11 when she was good and good sleep. We went and got the Santa Claus gifts. Because every year, like I told y'all, the little lips, 
See right side of the sound list. And we go to the post office and we met it. Mm. Y'all, this is good. This is good. So anyway, we, you know, moved everything in and everything. Opened the fireplace. It wasn't that cold. But opened up the fireplace. That night, early that night before she went to sleep, her and my husband had baked cookies. Put the little cookies and milk out and everything. You know, by, by, beside the fireplace. The whole nine. So I would say maybe 12. Or maybe 1 o'clock in the morning. I woke up because I heard some rambling. I'm like, what the? What is that? Honey. We don't come downstairs, honey. Everything that was in that floor, except for what we bought, and we told her that we had bought for her, was open. Baby, you don't talk about somebody, man. I said, baby, what made you want to open these gifts? I said, oh, y'all, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. Okay, so I say, little girl, who told you to be girl? This little girl told me, saying, well, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, Santa had already came, so I didn't think he was mine. <laughs> Baby, that girl that is I cannot. <laughs> y'all tell y'all, little lip is too smart for her own good sometimes. Baby, she didn't open up everything except for what we said, what I told, what was already there, you know. I said, because I, I told her, I said, I want to see you open, the, you know, your gift. She said, you can see me open the one that you bought me, but I didn't think Santa was mine. <laughs> hey! Y'all, now that I think about it, I'm going to tell y'all, I love Christmas time. I really, really do. I really, really do. It's full of laughter and love and joy. It really, really is. Real. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Y'all, we got like a little blog that's going to be coming up soon. We was challenged by Tosh Time. Tosh Time made up a new challenge where she combined the Zaddy Chunk Chunk, world's largest Big Mac, and the Scent and Mold Pay It Forward challenges. She combined them together. And what she done was, I was one of the four, um, Challenge that she selected. So what I do is I go to a McDonald's and I buy four Big Macs. And then I blog myself, giving them away to less fortunate people. You know what I'm saying? People that are hungry. And I blog myself, giving them the Big Macs. You guys, I think that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful idea. Tosh Time has a mind, you guys, that... I mean, it's just so big and so vast in how she thinks of the craziest things that end up being the most touching and heartfelt thing, which I've been on her channel before and seen how she goes out and does community work just like that. You know, for the homeless and the less fortunate, you know, which I do it all the time. Um, sometimes I get in my feelings and, you know, like, I was like, shoot, they got, they got, they, you know, excuse me, literally, I have seen some people that are portraying to be homeless on the street. Maybe at nighttime, they stay outside the corner all day long, begging for money. And when nighttime comes, honey, they put on J's and a fresh white tea, honey, meet you at the club, baby. Baby. I'm not lying to you either. I'm telling you the truth. They had me one time. A guy, every day, I had given him money before, more than one time, would be at the corner. When I come out there, way to come home. Now, he would be there every day, begging for money, every day. Like I said, I had given him money several times. And then one of my friends came and took me out one Friday night. Hi. I got dubbed up, nailed, done, and fresh. Fresh, cut, and shaved. You know, 
you know, trying to go to the club and stunt. You know, trying to go to the club and stunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey! How do we fall up in that junk? And I'm telling you, I met this man at the door. Crispy. You hear me? Fresh white jeans, some blue and white. It was some J's. I don't know what number they were, but they were white and they had like the baby blue was uh, the feature color on the white baby blue. Mm-hmm. Fresh star jeans. And he a security guard at the club. Really? 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 Man, I'm telling you. So sometimes that kind of stuff that will discourage you. But this is what I want to tell you. I'm taking a bite. Mmm. Mmm. This is what I want to tell you. Even with me seeing that, I ain't going to lie. I definitely give him no money tomorrow. I didn't. But I still often stop on the side of the road. You know, and give, give people a couple of dollars. You know, help them make it through. I have picked up people. Honestly, this is no lie. Sam girl was on the phone with me last time it happened. I was at the dollar store and I was coming out. And you know, obviously, you know, I have to walk with a cane or a walker. Most of that hanged out. So he, the little guy was so nice to me when I was coming out of the store. He held the door for me. You know, because it's kind of complicated for me. Mm, excuse me, y'all. Because I got to get the door open, get my buggy out, get to my vehicle. Then I stand there one by one, put the bag. You know, you know, a hassle. But anyway, he was so nice to me. He helped me and everything. So I asked him, I said, well, why are you standing out here at the store, you know? Because the lady in the inside was already talking about him when I was in there. About he up there every day big in the store. And then I remember one time before I had been over there and to that dollar store. And when I drove out, I saw him bend over and pick up a bunch of them. Somebody had like opened up that car into the ashtray. There was a whole bunch of pennies and chains on the ground. And I saw him pick it up. So I wanted to go on with the story. He was so nice to me. I asked him why was he out there at the store. And he was like, I'm hungry. He's like, I'm trying to get some food. And I was like, um, well, where do you live? Where are your parents? He's like, I live with my grandma. And we ain't got no food. You ask Sam right now, I'm telling you the truth. So I told him, I said, well, it was a perfect stranger now. But trust and believe God got my back. God got my back. So um, I told him, I said, well, come on, get in. And I took him down the street to McDonald's and bought him some Big Macs and things and stuff. And asked him, do you want me to take him home? He said, no, you don't have to do that. Just take me back to the intersection where you got me from. And so I did. And then I went somewhere else. And when I came back through a few minutes later, I think I may went to the service station or something. I don't know. But when I came in there, he was smashing them burgers. He was smashing them, John. So what I want to tell you in this particular situation is, hold on a minute, y'all. Ah. Y'all fool, by the way. But what I want to tell you about this situation is, even if you do see some homeless people or less fortunate people doing wrong, don't let that deter you from giving. Don't let that deter you because as long as you give it freely from your heart, from your heart to help someone, God going to bless you for that. It don't matter what they do with it. Because I hear people all the time saying stuff like, Excuse me, y'all. I ain't finna get him nut. Oh. I hear people tell me all the time, you know, that they'll say, like, I ain't finna get him nothing because, you know what I'm saying? They think that they faking or they think that people are just out there to take advantage of people. And some are. Some really are. However, God didn't make you the homeless police. <laughs> That ain't your assignment. He didn't call you for that. God didn't call you for that. Because as long as you give from your heart, freely, from your heart, to help another, God going to bless that. It don't matter what they do with it. It doesn't matter if God pricked your heart and put it on your heart to give a $100 to somebody that you know, just like that man that I saw at the club. But God didn't prick me no more by him. He never did. But if he did, I probably gave him something. 
I think he moved on to another area or something. <laughs> I don't see him anymore. But anyway, if God pricked your heart to do something for somebody, it really don't matter what their situation is, even if they don't need it, if God pricked your heart and tell you to do something for somebody, you do it. You do it. Because your blessing going to be the same, no matter what. Okay, y'all, I'm full. I'm full, y'all. I'm glad you guys came and kicked it with me today. So I'm on New Legion. I thank you so, so, so much for being here. I love you all. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are just amazing because you chose to be here and you could have been somewhere else. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. To my existing legion, you know I love you with a legion. I love you guys so, so, so much. But we're going to get up out of here, y'all. We're going to get up out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. The patties uh, that I had for the burgers came from Wendy's. They came from Wendy's. And they were good, too. They really were. Anyway, y'all, like I told you, I'm so excited about my birthday. It's almost here. Not almost, but almost. <laughs> my birthday is New Year's Day, you guys. I'm going to Atlanta. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up. But I do have something else to tell you. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to go. It's time for me to have my injections again in my back. So, y'all, we got to go through all this all over again. The brace. All of that. But I know you guys love me. I know you're praying for me. And I know you got my back. I'm still going to put out a video. Y'all already know. I'm still putting out a video. I'm going to still put out a video. I'm going to do my best. As long as I can sit up over here, I'm going to put out a video. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I got to go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Mwah. That was a good video. It was. So y'all look. I want to discuss this a little bit more, okay? About the less fortunate people. You guys, it does not matter what a person is going to do with whatever God puts on your heart to give them. It does not matter. It does not matter if you know that they fit to leave the corner where you give them the money to. The money at. It goes to the liquor store. It does not matter. Your blessing is the same. Your blessing will be the same. And probably more so, God will probably honor you more. I can't say. But for giving to someone, if he prick your heart, now I'm saying if God prick your heart to do something for somebody, even when you know they're going to do wrong, and you still do it, baby, baby, and the blessings come down. Y'all remember that song? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When the praises of God are going up. Hey, anyway, y'all. So, you guys, don't forget to give. Don't forget to give. Don't be afraid to give. Love people. Make sure you treat yourself right. And make sure you brighten them somebody's day to day. Have you done this thus far? I ain't asked you about a week. Have you brightened them somebody's day to day? Make sure you do if you haven't. Get your sale advice and get on it. Get on it quick. And call somebody and say, how you doing? Is there anything I can do to help you today? You know, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. Because believe it or not, the Bible says the seeds that you sow, they come up under your own feet. That means what you put out there in the world, it's going to come up, it's going to come back to you. So never forget to do good. Never forget. Always do good. Therefore, good will come back to you. Y'all finna go again. How to start back ramming off? I'm going to start back ramming on. See, I can't even get the words right now, y'all. Big me and says, good night. Big Ben says good night. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, I told you how to make it. Try to make this um broccoli skillet. I'm telling y'all, it's divine. Okay, y'all. Bye bye. <sighs> If you did one thing, if you didn't push that notification button in that bell, 
You have lied to me. And I know you lied. 